Now let's go to Princeton University, where the trapezoid experiment and others relating to perception and past experience were done. So senior theses in the engineering departments end up being a little bit different from those in the humanities. Um, and humanities uh, senior theses end up being you know, research projects that can total up to you know 100 pages. Basically, people you know, generate a small book. For engineers, it, it can vary, um, but it usually involves some sort of project. Uh, for mechanical engineers, either you do uh, professor's research or you pick your own project and you know, build something that you want to build. Everyone knows the famous training sequence from Rocky in which he has this disgusting looking egg shake in the morning and then goes out and runs up the steps. Uh, that actually was filmed with the Steadicam. So you can imagine that when you're running up the steps with a big 35 millimeter camera, um, it's really hard to keep the camera steady. Running up steps definitely sort of generates a lot of jolting. Um, you can imagine if you have a big 35 millimeter camera, uh, it's pretty hard to, to wheel that up steps. One of the movies that inspired me to make a camera stabilization system was uh, Alfonso Cuaron's Children of Men. The camera somehow rotates around the inside of a really, really small car. Um, meanwhile, there's all this, you know, commotion going on outside. Uh, the car goes in reverse and like, you know, the camera's panning between four different people and all the while it's, it's completely still and like they, it turns out they had to build, you know, a, a contraption to, in order to achieve this, this really cool effect, this video effect. Some of the drawbacks those systems had were that they were mainly extremely heavy, used for large-scale feature films. In that sense, we wanted to make something that was very lightweight. That was one of the key design goals we were looking for. As a stabilization platform, our device utilizes an inclinometer to keep the platform steady and level. We can use a water bottle to demonstrate that principle. When putting it on the top platform and tilting the base, you can see that the top platform maintains a steady level position, causing the bottle to stay on top. There's no textbook, there are no office hours, there's no class, there are no problem sets to guide us through this. Our thesis was, it was just us. If we couldn't figure something out, we had to use our own devices and resources. Figure out what the problem was, diagnose the situation, put our heads together, crunch some numbers, and try to come up with the solution. There were definitely hurdles along the way, but as we came over each one of them, we really felt like we got over them using our two minds, which was ultimately a really great feeling.